What's going on, everybody? You're watching the sit down on DJ Six Smith. Courtney Nicole hanging out with us, assisted living back on BET for season two. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing really well. I feel like a lot has changed in our lives, right? It's a brand new year. Got another yeah, season of assisted living. Things are uh, looking on the up and up here. I'm, I'm pretty they happy. They are about. looking on the up and up. It's amazing. Um, it has, it's, it's been a really good transition, a good season two. We're having a great glow up. It started last, uh, on Tuesday. We're on a new, a new week. I mean, a new day this week. So that's pretty fun. So what has been the, 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 you know, the craziest part of it for you? Because it's one thing to just be on a TV show, right? But to get a season two is a big deal. So what has this meant to you so far? Um, you know what? Um, it's, it's, I'm just so grateful, you know, and I think all of this happening during a global pandemic is just mind blowing, you know, just to... Uh, think about the dreams that you have when you're young and you know when they say they're going to be bigger than whatever you can imagine it being I think this is that so um, to have a season one the first episode I think we opened with 6.6 .6 million viewers wow. was like amazing so thankful and then also to be renewed for seasons two and three right like you sometimes That's big time. Yeah. yeah like we got picked up for two more seasons <laughs> dj six smith oh my gosh that's when you know you have a good show right because you know in this business it's it's hard to just get the season to be completed it's hard to get to the next season but when they're like yeah we're, we're hooking you up for two more seasons that's when you know you got a good one here they're like we love y'all i'm like okay great yeah it is it's been really good very well received uh you know which is the great part because we make this show with love and we're laughing and cracking up while making it you know what i'm saying so it's awesome to to see it be so well received i mean we can be filming and we'll literally hear the directors cracking up i'm like man i guess that we know when to put the laugh track in right so it, it's good when you can laugh in the moment and then the audience laughs with you, you know? So, I mean, like even after our season two premiere the other day, my DM was full with like, that was so funny, it was amazing. So that just warms my heart as a person, you know, to know that what we made is being well received. So. I mean, that's the best part about it. Enjoying it on the set, impacting people off screen. That's really what makes this thing go round. And your character and Leah has really resonated with folks. So why do you think that is when you take a step back? You know what? Because everybody has a mama. You know, I think everybody has a mama. And um, I think the love, I just keep saying that, but I think it's the love that resonates. Um, you know, the love that I have for my husband, I think that the audience really uh, grabs a hold of that and they're able to relate to that, whether they've seen a good relationship, been in one or, you know, or that's what they're wanting in their own relationship. You know, it's like we see all the time on Instagram, couple goals, couple goals and, you know, it's great to see that also, you know, just having teenagers, right? You know, that's like a very interesting and uh, delicate part of yep. life, um, but to be that mom. And I think back to the moms that I used to like on TV, like Shirley Ralph, um, like um, Felicia Rashad, like, you know, like so many moms that I watched on TV TV that I was like, oh, that's my favorite mom. So to think of Leah being one of those moms that everybody loves is like so amazing, um, but definitely something people can relate to. I mean, it's clearly worked out for you so far, which is a cool deal. And just being in the Tyler Perry universe also is a really important thing. So it's one thing when we talk to just be starting with the show now that you have a little bit more of a runway here. What's most impressive about these Tyler Perry shows when you put them in perspective? What's most impressive is the ship that he runs. You know, um, you know, a good business, corporation, small business, you know, you know, it's great when it's, it starts at the top, you know, when the expectations and the excellence starts at the top. So we go to work in excellence every day over there. And I think that's just one of the best things about being in a Mr. Tyler Perry camp and just watching what he's done over this year. DJ Six Smith, since we spoke, um, uh -huh. we've seen Mr. Perry do so many things. I think the week that our show came out, he, it was announced in Forbes that he was a billionaire. 
Um, and then we've also seen him give to the community, to, you know, the elderly during the pandemic, uh, making sure that while we were there filming, uh, people who wanted to get the vaccine were able to get the vaccine. So moments like that just let me know that his, you know, it's his philanthropy, it's his love for people, it's his laughter, um, and he leads with that. And I think that everybody there knows that. And and they are also part of that camp as well. So it just exudes. So we're able to come to work and just work, you know? And that's a blessing. I mean, just an incredible man, incredible journey, and another incredible show here. So if folks haven't checked out season one, they're trying to get into it now, what's the big hook here? What can people expect when they check it out? Or what can people expect when they get back into it for season two now? Um, I hope you watch season one. I hope you, you know, have watched and got into it. And if you didn't, you can catch up on it. Um, but it's family. It's a multi-generational family. We have grandparents here. We have some older people, some new characters that are coming in this season, which I think is just going to add to the laughter and the fun. Then you have us, my husband and I. Then you also have the kids. You know, so it's a multi-generational show and we've all had grandparents and older people that'll give us advice. Like us as parents, we could tell our kids something and then the grandparents tell them something and all of a sudden they understand when they didn't understand us, you know, so those kind of hilarious things. Uh, we have some new writers this season, which I think is awesome. Mr. Perry has so much going on that he was like, you know what? We're going to bring in some writers. So we have some young writers coming in, uh, bringing their fresh voices to season two. And just like any other pilot show or pilot episode, you know how you have that season two glow up? We have our glow up happening. So I think people should tune in for the glow up. <laughs> I like it. I'm glad to hear it. I think the the last really interesting part of your story is that you had a teaching background. You get your degree in that. I mean, do you have people that you taught that now see you doing your thing on TV and just have their mind blown? Like, can you give me a story with that? Yes. So um, I have so many of my students have texted me um they're they do different things now one is an artist and he was like I'd love to draw you so he sent me a wonderful you know picture of a, a of myself which was amazing to see them use their gifts and talents that hopefully I helped pour into to you know then turn around and gift me with something like that um I've had so many people hit me up other teachers and things like that I had one story I'll share with you is that um, a former student of mine moved and she's pursuing the modeling acting career as well. And we were working on this project together. And you know, when you age a little bit, we all have changed a little bit. So I, we didn't recognize each other the first day <laughs> we met on set. And so the next day she came to set, she said, now my maiden name is Celestin. So they used to call me Miss Celestin. So the next day she came to set, she's like, Miss Celestin. <laughs> I'm around like now, I, go, I use my first and middle name for acting. So I'm like, who is in here calling me by my last name that nobody knows about? I turn around and she told me her name. Her name is Wandria, but she said who she was and where we, you know, met and talked and all of that started to come back. And it was just amazing to, I'm like, now she's grown. She could like literally just call me Courtney, but it was amazing to like be with her, have that moment. So that was, that was, I will say that was one of my favorite moments as a teacher, just seeing someone else live out their dreams. So. That's a great story. I would imagine you're an awesome teacher. You're an excellent actor. It's great to see you doing your thing. Courtney, really nice to talk to you again. Congrats on season two, and we'll chat again down the road for sure. Right? Absolutely. Thank you, DJ Sixsmith, and thanks, everybody, for watching.